Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Today we are going to take a closer look at the Raging Tech's Aegos Mid Tower PC chassis, which is getting a lot of attention due to its great overall value. On the box you will find some pictures of the case from inside and outside perspective, usual technical specifications listed out, some talk about the special features and the case itself, and the notion of the chosen color for the case. Here you can see that we got a white one and except this you can get a black one also. Removing the case out of the box, you can see that Ragitech went with a pretty simple but yet good looking front. On there you can see the Ragitech's logo on the bottom and on the top we have three four and a quarter inch base with easy to remove front masks. On the right side Ragitech placed the usual front panel bunch, one USB 2 and one USB 3 port, microphone and headphone jacks, power on and reset switches and LED activity lights. On the left side panel a part of it has a honeycomb mesh on which you can install up to two 140mm fans. On the top you can also find a honeycomb mesh but this one has a dust filter with magnets on it so it sticks better and it can also take up to two 140mm fans. Going to the back of the case, except the usual stuff like the expansion slots, a place for a 120mm fan, rubber holes for water cooling tubing, I.O. and power supply cutout, you will find an access point for the long dust filter which is easily removable. Since we are already down there, on the bottom side of the case you can again see that dust filter as well as the 4 foam padded feet which are slightly raised so you get better air intake clearance. Removing the rubberized thumb screws which hold down the side panel and using this handy hook for pulling it off, you will easily reach the case interior. In there you will find some user manuals and a dedicated box with some screws and zip ties in it. Taking a closer look inside of the case, you can see that Ragitech made a pretty good effort making everything accessible and easy to use. For starters, we have completely toolless drive cages for 3.5 and 2.5 inch drives. For smaller ones, you'll have to do some screwing in the end, while 5 and a quarter inch base also support tool free installation. The middle drive cage can be removed like so, and with doing that, you will get a better view of the pre installed 120mm fan, which will cool off your longer graphics card, which need that extra space that you'll get by removing the aforementioned drive cage. The main portion is, of course, occupied by the big motherboard tray, which has a large cutout for the back axis, as well as a more than enough number of rubberized cable management routing holes. Beneath the motherboard tray on the bottom you will find a spot for additional 120mm Intec fan installation and next to it a place for the power supply laying down on the rubber spacers. Just above that you can see the pre-installed 120mm fan and that all 7 expansion slots have nice rubberized thumb screws which is a great plus and a rare sight. Removing the other right side panel and going to the back you can see a lot of zip tie points for cable management and just enough space to hide it all behind the motherboard tray. The front panel can be easily pulled off and it hides placement for two 120mm fans, one pre-installed that you saw from before from within the case and one empty spot for the optional installation. As a cherry on the top, the panel itself is padded with dust filters from top to bottom. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and preview of the Regitex Aegos PC case. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.